Okay, so what's up? Uh, I'm making this short video because I couldn't find any tutorial on it. So I'll be talking about Bullet Beetle's behavior in Pina Park Episode 2. So if there was already one video about it, uh, I'm sorry, but I still want to share my experience with it at least. So before I get started, let me tell you guys that I'm not a professional about this, so I could say something wrong, but yeah, if I do so, I hope you guys are just gonna tell me my mistake. Alright, so first I'm just gonna talk about the thing that most people wanna know, namely the purple bullet spill behavior. So as far as I know, there are two ways of handling it constantly, and the first one, which is the way I recommend, is to stay very far away. Um, by doing this, the purple bullet build will slowly follow you, but at least it doesn't get uncontrollable. So I'll be showing you what I mean by staying very far away. Okay, so there is one purple. I will stay pretty far away and get on the basket. And the purple comes to you. Well, right now that was just a bit unlucky, but that's how it works. So I stay far away, far away, and I get on the basket. And the purple will come. Okay, so that was a black bullet, but yeah. So I stay far away. And it does come slowly to me. Alright, that's how it works. So the second way is to let the purple get very close to you, and then you move really quickly. Uh, usually by doing dive rollouts uh, to the location that you aim for. Uh, this, this way is a little bit more tricky and less constant, uh, from my experience at least. So I not recommend it to beginners, but yeah, let me show you how it does work. Okay, so there was one. I will let it get close to me. And then dive roll out, dive roll out, dive roll out. This is really risky, you need to see where you are going. And... If you bonk on something, the purple is just gonna hit you, so... Yeah, and also, from times to times, it will just not follow you, so I don't really know why, but as I said, it is just less consistent to me. So now the real point of doing that is to be able to collect the blue coins inside the two unattainable baskets. So what I mean by two un unattainable baskets is this basket is usually not obtainable with uh, a black bullet and this one behind the wall as well. Those two baskets are just not possible to get with black bullets usually. So I'll be showing you how you proceed to get those two blue coins. First you wait for a purple around... For this basket you wait around here. So as soon as you see the purple, you will go on the basket. Okay, that was unlucky, but you get me. Like, okay, there is one here. You just wait around here, and as soon as it gets, as soon as the purple will come around here, you are around here, and you wanna go to this basket. So when the purple reaches the papaya around there, you will just wanna go on the basket instantly. And there you go. That's how you get this blue coin. Now for the one on the very back. Uh, I usually wait around here. When I need to wait, of course. And when I see the purple, yeah, I wait. A little bit and then go here. So that's how you do it with uh, the very far away strats, but you can also do it with the risky strats. 
I guess it's a little bit faster, but you need to be, I guess, pretty experienced before doing this. You need to know that there is that Kenta, you need to know that there is this basket as well. Oh, shit. Okay, right. So that's how you do it with the fast strat, but risky in my opinion. So get it very close to you. Okay, I failed. To find... I mean, I need to find a purple that's not going behind me. So of course this one was messed up. So there is one purple. I get close to it and dive roll out, dive roll out, jump dive, da run pound, and I get this. So this one was far away, so that's why it followed me as well. But yeah, something I forgot to say about purples, if you get not too close but not too too far away, it will behave like randomly, so that's what you wanna avoid. Let me show you what I mean by randomly. I just need a purple grid. Okay, so let's try to make it move randomly. Okay, see? Okay, it does follow me. See, that's what I meant. It's doing random loops from time to time. If I'm not too close... Okay, uh, I got too close. See? It just doesn't follow you because I didn't get close enough. So that's also some risk you can get by... by trying to get close but you're scared so you don't get too close enough and and it's just doing random move movement so so that's why I also don't like the the risky way of doing the manipulation of purples so yeah getting close but close enough is very risky because if you don't press close enough it will not follow you and will act randomly so something I forgot to mention is that if you're really far away, like too much far away of a purple, it will just ignore you, ignore you and crash. So this one didn't. But for example, if I could find another one, so as you could see, I was very out of the way. So. It just ignored me. Okay, so now I can't say everything about purples, but I still have things to say uh, about the normal blood builds. And by normal I mean black and golden. Uh, the only difference between those two is the black bullet build will give two coins when you spray it, and the golden one will give you eight coins. So people would tend to think that uh, normal bullet builds are not controllable. Um, but you can actually manipulate it a little bit, so let me explain you how. So how it works is that a uh, normal red build will crash without following you, that is true, but you can actually uh, influence it a little bit. Um, if you move during that travel, um, they will move into your direction. So for example this one crashed here, because I did not move. If I did move to the right, the normal red bill would have gone a little bit more to the right. So as you as you could see right there, I don't know if you saw it, but the normal bullet bills move a little bit in the in the direction I do. So it is very useful for some baskets I will show you later. So let's see with this one. Yeah it's hard to see but it really does. Uh, you will see later. So if you move during the travel, they will slightly move into your direction as well. See this one almost hit the basket, even though it was literally going to crash around here or around here. So yeah. So yeah, it's very useful if you want to get some baskets and the bullet normal bullet bill is a bit off. You will just want to move a bit more to the right or to the left, etc. 
so now um, I need to say something else about bullet bills. Uh, if you jump on it, it will just crash, even though there is no obstacle like this. Uh, but I'm pretty bad at this, so I could not show you when it is useful, but when it's too high, for example, you will jump on it so it crash under you on, on, on a basket, for example. Uh, something else I need to say is usually when a bullet bill is about to hit a basket, you wanna jump before it hits the basket because for. Because first, you could get hit by the bullet bill and so sometimes it doesn't break the basket it's not very consistent sometimes it does sometimes sometimes it doesn't um, but yeah usually you jump when the when the bill is about to break the basket and then you run pound I guess if you jump too early or if you wanna get the blue coin by pulling uh, faster, for example. So let me show you what I mean. So there is a purple. I stay far away, I go in the basket. And jump. Okay, so that was a almost fail, but yeah. I jumped and ground pound to gain time. So let's see with this one, for example. Um, I get here, I wait for bullet bill, and Okay, so this cycle was fucked up. Jump, crack the blue coin. I did a grand palm because I jumped late enough, but yeah, you got me. So now let me show you how to collect every single basket. Um, with starting with this one, that's the very first one you wanna get. So when you get into Pinatu, you will rush this basket. So you skip this little cutscene, jump dive, wall slide, uh, sorry, water slide, and stand here. And there it is. That's how you collect it. So for this basket, I usually stay on the ledge, you know, but that's for black bullet bills only. I mean, normal bullet bills. If there is a purple, you don't have to worry about this. But yeah. That's how you collect this one. Also, something else I need to say about this is... When you get into Pina 2, like, right now, with this cutscene, you will want to rush this basket and turn the camera to watch if there is a purple, because if this bullet was a purple, it would ignore you. And you would have to go back to... to attract it. So let me show you what I mean. So you get this little cutscene, you rush the first basket, as I said, and you turn your camera at the same time. And see, this is a purple, I need to go back to get it, otherwise it would crash. And now you choose if you get on this basket or on the basket on the back. Um, okay, so as you could see, I got hit by this purple, and I said earlier you want to jump when the, when the purple is going to hit the basket in the first place because you don't wanna have this to happen and also in the second place because if you jump on a prop on a bullet bill uh, it will just crash so if it's too high it will it will do crash under you. So that's how you do the first basket. Now the second basket is this one that you can get without purple. Uh, you get on this corner and you don't move and a bullet bill will come to you. Jump, as I said, and try to go That's pretty easy. So the third basket is this one. Um, this one is a little bit tricky because you can get it with normal bullet bills, but there is a tree in the way, so you need to use the strat I said earlier. Um, and the strat I mean, and by the strat I mean influencing the normal bullet bills by moving. So. You will want to go a little bit more to the right, and I'm just gonna skip this cycle. So you wanna go a little bit more to the right, and when you see a normal build deal, so this one could have worked by the way, you will go in the way you want it to go. So as you saw, this one was too high, but 
I did go forward and the normal bullet bill hit the basket. So that's how you do it. Uh, the fourth basket is a little bit more easy. I mean, it's totally easy. You just stand here on the ledge, like every single basket. And if you see the bullet bill is too far away, don't hesitate to move before it crashes. So you, you don't waste the cycle. So that's how you collect every single basket. Um, of course, there's this one. Uh, as you saw, this this purple bullet bill did ignore me because I was too far away. I mean. Weird. So jump and create the blue coin. So now let me show you how you do a full collect, I guess. Um, because sometimes when you move from a basket to another basket, there is a wasted cycle. Um, that's when you wanna use your camera to see if there is a purple, and if there is a purple, you wanna <coughs> take advantage of it to to bring it to a basket. So let's show you, let me let me show you how you do a full a full collect. So rush this basket, turn your camera turn your camera. Okay, there is a purple, I wanna get to it. There is two purples, I get pretty lucky, one's going here, the second one is gonna come here. I'm jumping as I say, I collect the blue coins, there is again purple, that's pretty lucky, I wanna wanna go to this basket and see if Purple follows me. Now I did crash to probably a black bullet. So I will go back to this basket. Wait on the ledge as I said. Okay, I jumped on it as you saw, it crashed under me. Uh, usually I suck at this, but this time I could make it. I could make it. So that's cool. Okay, there is a purple. I don't want to waste it for this basket that is easy to get. And I want to go to. Okay, uh, maybe I was too close. No, okay. So there is a purple, I take advantage of it to get this basket that is not untenable with normal bullets. Now I still only have... Uh, oh, as you saw, I, I moved and this bullet bill went in the basket. And there is a purple, so... I go on this basket and I wait for it. And there it is. So I got pretty lucky for this one. Okay, let's do another try of how to collect every single blue coin because I got very lucky in the first try okay so there is no purple so I don't need to move I'm just gonna wait here I'm just gonna wait here I mean okay, so this black purple works alright uh, no I will check just if there is a purple I don't think there is yeah I need to rush on this one So there is a purple, uh, let's pre- Okay, I failed, my bad. Shouldn't have moved. So I could probably have influencing this one. But see, I got to the left because I saw it was not gonna crash on the basket. So there is a purple now. Let's pretend I just want all the coin, by the way. And and jump and there we go. Get this one. Now let's get to this basket. Uh, okay, there is a purple. I wanna use it for the basket behind. I stay pretty far away. I will die out. Uh, and I wait. Jump. Now let's get to this basket. There is only there are only two easy baskets left. So oh shit. That Okay, I still got it. And this one is easy, of course. You just stand here. If there is a purple, then great. If there is black, uh, be careful of it green uh, going into the basket and not next to it. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I had to say. Um, about bullet bills in Pina 2. Um, I still have one last thing to say. I mean, two last things. First, um, bullet bills color are RNG. So, black bullet bills have a 76% chance of spawning. Um, purple bullet bills have a 
19, I think. That's 19% chances of spawning. And the golden ones are the most rare. The rarest, I should say. Um, and they have a 5% chance of spawning. And the only reason why they are rare is because they give 8 pawns. But that's usually not used in speedruns, so you don't really care of golden purple. Uh, you don't really care of purple bullet pills. Alright, so I said about the probabilities. Now, the last thing I have to say is um, there is another way to get uh, a blue coin. I mean, there is there are other ways to get two blue coins, I think. And this way is with Yoshi. I will show you right now. So let's find a free. There you go. So you ride Yoshi. And the blue coin you can collect without uh, a bullet deal is this one on the very back. And the strat is pretty easy. You come from here. You jump over this, you know, this basket and this cliff. And when you see the shadow between the basket and the cliff, um, we will want to dismount Yoshi. Come on, what the fuck? Okay, so... When you see the shadow between the basket and the cliff, you dismount. There you go. And you will just want to jump on Yoshi again and sidestep and dismount Yoshi. And there you go, I got the blue coin, as you can see. So this strat is used in 120 shine, because usually uh, it is slower than just waiting for purple bullet deal to come and to bring here. It is faster to mount into Yoshi um, and to collect it during the 100 con shine. But yeah, uh, I still show you how to do this with bullet deals because there are a new goal in bingos that requires to collect every single blue coin of Pina 2. I mean every single blue coin in baskets. So that's why I still show you how to do it with purple bullet deals. Now you can also apparently do this clip with this basket, but this is very risky and very hard. I really don't recommend you to do it because you can just stop it. It's just way too hard. So let's try it right now, let's see if I can do it. Okay, uh, there, are, there was. Um, I'm just gonna go in Pina 5 to try this. I don't even know why I tried this because this is just ridiculously hard and nobody wants ever to do this. So I don't really know how to do it, but apparently you can. Uh, it is just kind of impossible and useless as well, because you can get this basket with normal bullet bills. So let's try to do it. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, as you can see... Uh, yeah, I don't recommend this. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> Alright, I said everything about uh, peanut bullet bills. At least everything I know. Uh, I, hope, I hope it helped you a little bit, at least. So, as I said earlier, if I said something wrong, don't hesitate to, to correct me again in the comments or by Discord, you know. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you.